uh, some designer clothes get another chance at making a fashion statement. I thought we were going to hear from Javi. I was like, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this time with a cheaper price tag, your money watch is next. And it's one last ride for the bad boys for life. I'm living for this, folks. We're going to have all the details on the other side of the break. I'm the definition of half man. Aircraft carriers. The United States only has 11 of them, and almost all of them are named after presidents. But on this Martin Luther King holiday, that long-standing legacy will change. It's because of this man, Doris Miller. Everybody called him Dory. Like all black Navy members at the time, he was not allowed to train with machine guns. But when Pearl Harbor was attacked in 1941, Miller ran from his mess hall post and jumped behind an anti-aircraft gun, firing at Japanese planes overhead. His heroic actions helped save countless men. Miller died less than a year after that, aboard an aircraft carrier sunk by Japanese torpedoes. Well, today, the U.S. Navy will officially announce plans to build another aircraft carrier named in his honor, the USS Miller. His family says they're overwhelmed and that it proves neither race nor rank can stop someone from performing heroic deeds. Amen. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. And on the money watch, rent the runway. Right. Yeah, yeah. The 25th annual Screen Actors Guild Awards was last night. I will treasure this life achievement award because it comes from you, my comrades in arms, my fellow actors, my friends. Thank you. Academy Award winning actor, producer and director Robert De Niro won the SAG Lifetime Achievement Award. De Niro's career spans over 40 years. Most recently